The Mark Simone Show. He's always a headline ahead. And he's on 710 WOR. Well, Ann Coulter, the great columnist and best-selling author. You make sure you follow her on Twitter, uh, Ann Coulter Twitter. But even better, go to Substack because there you get videos, columns, podcasts, interviews, all kinds of stuff. Just go to annculter.substack.com, annculter.substack.com. Ann Coulter, how you doing? Fantastic. How are you, Mark Simone? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, you remember that phony border bill that not only did nothing to help, <laughs> it made permanent... I was wondering if you'd mention that. Man, have they, are they bringing that up again. Well, it did nothing to fix any. It actually made permanent, legally, what's going on now. And Schumer wants to propose it again because he thinks it looks bad if Republicans vote against it. Yes, I think I'm eventually going to have to write about this and not just count on everyone listening to me talk on your program. Um, I don't know if you saw this in Maine. They've been dumping a lot of a lot of the illegals in Maine. Ninety percent of them are on welfare. Um, so, okay, right there, it's against the law. It's on the books right now to admit immigrants, legal or illegal, who could possibly become a public charge. There are a lot of things you can look at. Um, Maybe one of them is the moment they get here, we put them on welfare. This is against the law now. We don't need new laws. Oh, and you probably have seen, um, this week in particular, I guess it's been going on for a few weeks, um, they've traced the measles outbreak in Chicago to Venezuelan illegal immigrants. I'm sorry, I'm not calling them asylees. Uh, they created their own mess. I'm just going to do it again here. Um, that, well, that's something else that's on the law, uh, um, in the law already. You can't admit immigrants, legal or illegal, um, who have not had their full schedule of vaccines that are required in the United States. Um, forget forget COVID. <laughs> I mean, you know, first year in office, Biden mandated that about 100 million Americans uh, get the get get the covid vaccine because it's not only not only every employee of the federal government although there are probably millions of those but also healthcare workers where the healthcare facility gets any money from the federal government so that's you know everything except i don't know maybe a witch doctor um so they've mandated these uh these vaccines that are really not needed by anyone under the age of 60 um mandated those for americans but they're letting in um, utterly unvaccinated, and forget COVID, uh, vaccinated against mumps, me- measles, polio, just letting them pour in across the border. No new law is needed. All that is needed is the impeachment of of Alejandro Mayorkas. That's great to put somebody named that in charge of immigration. Um, and I will add point two, also something I should probably write about so it doesn't just go <laughs> go flitting into the air and everyone forgets about it. Um, it's mandatory that the Senate take have a trial on a House impeachment. This is an optional. Well, the House impeached Alejandro Mayorkas, what, like three or four months ago. And Schumer is simply defying Senate rules, um, long-standing Senate rules, uh, and refusing to hold the trial on it because that would hurt Democrats. Yeah, but, yeah well, so what um, if you got rid of him? Mm-hmm. They'll just put another stooge in there to do what, the, what he's told. Um, maybe, but that's the purpose of impeachment. Yeah. Uh, and he is 100% responsible for this. Uh, I'm, I mean... <laughs> you could say that about anything. Um, he is the one who was openly defying the law. Um, I think, I, I mean, in theory, people have said, oh, impeach Biden. Okay, that's not going to happen. Um, immigration is one part of what the, the president oversees. I mean, I don't like a lot of the things he's doing, but the one that's impeachable is impeachment, So, or, or, or is Mayorkas, is, yeah. is immigration. So you impeach the one guy in charge of immigration, as the House did. Hey, but if you're the average American, you work hard, you don't have time, except maybe you watch the nightly news, NBC nightly news, or you watch the Sunday show, you're being lied to. They'll actually say to you, there was the toughest border bill ever and had bipartisan support, and the Republicans turned it down. What are you going to do if they don't actually say to everybody, by the way, there was nothing in here that would help, and it would make the current situation permanent. If they're not going to tell the <laughs> truth, what do you do about that? Yes, the media 
um, just in general, needs to be burnt down to the ground, the earth salted, and create something new um, where you can get the truth. You know, I've been asking people, does anyone actually believe this border bill would do anything, or is this just something for them to say on MSNBC or for Democrats to say when they get called on um, Biden bringing in, what is it now, about 10 million illegal aliens, unvaccinated, immediately going on welfare? Um and and everyone I've asked said, oh yeah, no, it's totally um, it's totally a fake out. But I guess I think you're right. There are people out there whom I have no contact with who are falling for this. Um, I suppose <laughs> I, I I don't know what you can do about people who don't know what's going on. I mean, I, other than a poll tax in order to take the literacy test, which I've long been a pro- proponent of, um, just remember to vote. Yeah. But if you said to the average person who's watching the NBC Network News, hey, by the way, it says in the bill you're not allowed to stop anybody until 5,000 a day have crossed. That's the current number that are crossing. What good does this bill do? Yes. So, not only that, according, apparently, uh, Mayorkas' Homeland Security uh, is counting. They give these, I don't know if you've read about this, but um, they admit the, the, the illegal aliens um, who are teeming with easily vaccinatable uh, um, um, diseases who immediately go on welfare, give them plane tickets, often pl- flying them around. Um, and then, and and if they are, you know, so bad, like a criminal record, they, oh, I forgot to say, all of them are supposed to be put in detention, legit yeah. or not, all of them, all of them, none of them are being. But instead, what they do is they give them an ankle bracelet, which are very easily removed, Mark Simone, release them into the country, and anyone who's given an ankle bracelet is is counted by Mayorkas as, quote, detained. <laughs> we have detained these people. <laughs> yeah, that bill, uh, they'll say this on Meet the Press, why it called for 15,000 more beds in the detention center. They'll never mention they haven't used the detention centers in four years now. They don't use them. They're empty. Right, and I just heard on MSNBC a Mexican um, who definitely wants to get more TV visibility by turning America into Mexico, because then we'll need, you know, Jose ba- Ballard, whatever his name is, Diaz Ballard, um, to translate for us. So, so their their um, their demand in the media will definitely go up. Um, so. Anyway, she was she was talking about how, um, as if this is a good thing, the illegals come across and they're not criminals; they're turning themselves into border patrol. Yeah, because under the Biden administration policy, you turn yourself in to get your free iPhone and your plane ticket into America. You get signed up for welfare. You're sent to you know Catholic Immigrant Services, and you get house a uh, house and all the medical care you need. This, this isn't evidence of these are immigrants we really want this is evidence of what the biden administration is doing to lure the third world to our country hey uh ann coulter let me ask you a stupid question what is so wrong with mexico i mean i could see fleeing siberia but i know people paying thousands of dollars to go vacation in mexico uh why is everybody so desperate to get out of there well in about 10 years you're going to see because it will be our country because it's utterly completely corrupt um the government works hand in hand with the cartels, and if they don't, uh, they'll be decapitated and their head will be rolled into the next meeting. Um, the rape rate is absolutely through the through the roof. Women just they're they're raped and murdered bodies lying around. Um, there have been any number of UN and international reports on this, which are written about in my book Adios America. Um, it has all of the vices of of the third world, um, rampant poverty, nothing works, and mostly uh, rape, crimes, child rape especially, ooh, that's big in Latin America, um, crimes we're not even used to dealing with. Um, and, and, I mean, there might be an honest policeman somewhere in, in Mexico, but basically everything's done with a cash bribe. So it's not like Mexico is worse than than Pakistan, probably very similar, um, although more more child rape in Latin America. Um, that may not be true. They could be equal. Uh, but Mexico happens to be the third world country that's within walking distance. Yeah. Well. And at this point, one final point for you, guess how many Mexicans have moved here? Uh, I don't know. We have taken in one-third of the 
population of Mexico. <laughs> uh, One third. All right. So when when are we going to be diverse enough? <laughs> That's true. Well, hey, <laughs> if you want to read about this, it is a great book. Adios America is the best book on the subject by Ann Coulter. You can get it at uh, Amazon. Uh, and also make sure you follow her on Twitter. And the best place is Substack, where you get columns, podcasts, videos, all sorts of great interviews. Just go to annculter.substack.com, annculter.substack.com. Great stuff. Ann Coulter, thanks for being with us. Good to talk to you, Mark Simone. Bye-bye. Right, take care. Uh, oh, and everybody check out the webpage. There's some great uh, video up there. So they've uh, sent Biden back out on the campaign trail. I guess they're trying to get him limber and ready for the debate. But it's a disaster. Yesterday, he was just getting mocked like crazy online for his his speeches. They're so confused, and he's just slurring all over the place. Take a look at this video. You'll see why he's getting mocked like crazy. Hey, also, uh, watch this video. This show you how dangerous it is to have an electric car in your garage. This is all up on the webpage. Go to 710wor.com slash mark. 710 wor.com slash mark.